Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome to Mich Rescue Mission Day 42. Last night, I said that we were going to be going into the final area today. And last night, I lied to you. Something about what the sage, uh, sage leafling said last episode just raised a few eyebrows to me. On a meta perspective, oh my word. On a meta perspective, it doesn't really make sense that they would introduce a leafling that we couldn't cure. Anytime we encounter something remotely similar to that, oh, that's amazing. I love this so much. I love this so much. Yeah, they wouldn't introduce a leafling that we couldn't cure. Anything we encounter something, anytime we encounter something like that, it was Olimar, who wasn't incurable. He just isn't easily impressed. You have no idea how happy this makes me feel. So in my mind, the sage leafling is someone we can rescue. We just have to impress him. And to impress him, well, I'm gonna be honest. While commentating, playing completely blind, I was not. Uh, I was not playing. I was not completing those those challenges in a way that would impress really much of anybody. So I'm going to return, and don't worry, this is a one episode thing only. I know this took me multiple episodes to get through, but because this is content that we've already seen, I'm going to be just be cutting around to and fro throughout this. But first, I, I actually want to talk to this one leafling. They have something to say. I think they're the onion leafling, right? Oh, it's you again. This is fascinating. I was able to confirm that the onion has fused. Yeah, so this is one of the one of the reasons why uh, you were all saying in the comments that I should I should do this now sooner rather than later, because if I had gotten the pink onion that is most likely and probably and I think one of you said it definitely is in the final area, then it, this would have spoiled the rewards or that or maybe even caused me to go on a wild goose chase looking for the white and purple onions. So, now, now we know that there is one onion remaining, and we know it's the pink one. Alright, I'm not going to waste too much time uh, talking, since this episode is going to take long enough to record as is. I mean, this, I'm going to be doing the entirety of the Trial of the Sage Leaf in one episode, so, uh, that's... It's going to be quite a, quite a lot. One recording session for one episode. Oh, we can tackle these individually. That's really nice. Perfect. Well, I mean, I'm starting with number one, but it's cool that I have that option. Okay, thinking about this, I think my strategy for the first floor is going to have Ochi kill as many people as possible on, on his own. So I'm going to switch, immediately switch to Ochi. And kill, and then switch. And then, boom, switch. Perfect. There we go. Ignoring all the Pikmin plucks. Switch. I, I think I got it. That was very easy. That was definitely the correct strategy. Oh, oh uh, on screen, I'm going to show all of my attempts. I'm going to show how many attempts I, I did so that I don't have to show all of the failures. This one is the first attempt. There you go. Yeah, this was the first attempt. Uh, first re-attempt, I guess. And I even talked through most of it, although I'm not going to show all of it because I, was, I wasn't really commentating as much as I was thinking out loud. Which, there is a difference, mind you. There's a big difference. That was easy. That was ridiculously easy. But that's also... <laughs> that's also the difference between doing this blind and not. I mean, one is improv improvisation, and the other one is just memorization, which... Memorization is much easier when you're not commentating. Saver I need.
Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I did it. Hold forward. Hold forward. Come on. Boom. Done. I could have got on o Ochi and jumped, but I still planted it. Oh my word, I got the literal worst RNG. Where is he going? That is the worst RNG I've seen in my life. This is good. I'm making amazing time. He'll be fast enough to dodge the Withering Blowhog. Yep, we're good. Okay, that should almost be almost done. I'm making amazing time. Okay, I don't need all the Pikmin. I don't need all the Pikmin. Go, 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 go. I can do it. I don't think I forgot anything this time. Uh, Ochi. Go get them. Actually, wait. Just whistle. Whistle. Okay, they're done. Go through. Quick, 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 quick. Go, 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 go. I did it. I think I did it. And they dug it up, too? Perfect. That's, that's one of the things I was missing. I need to do that early just so they dig it up. Go. Pluck the rest. Swarm them. Help them out. Come on. Go. Seven, six, five, four, three. Yes. Whew. That one, I mean, that was already the one, the one I think I failed the most on in, in the original run, uh, you know, the last recording session, but wow, that one's tight. That one's so tight, and I don't, I don't know what strategy I was, I just was missing. There's something there. Usually when there's a, a difficulty curve like that, it's because I'm actually missing something, but I did it. Whew. I'll never have to do it again. I don't need this to be destroyed. I don't need this to be destroyed. That's a trap. Okay. I know what I gotta do. Everybody's together. Get Ochi ready. Ram him into that. Deal with the Kiwi. As normal. For one there, rest onto that. Jump down, go grab these Pikmin. Swarm. Ochi, you go. Hmm. You go over here and pluck those.
I think I might have gotten it. Go, go, go. That's the last of it. I haven't forgotten anything. Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need... I do need Ochi. I can't forget about that. Cancel. Get ready. Lower. Jump. Yes. Oh, I think I did that with a lot of time to spare. That was hard. Uh, that was really difficult. I, I don't even... I can't even really say what I did right, what the secret was. I just did it well. <sighs> I juggled well. I didn't make mistakes. That's... <laughs> that's all that one needed. Just be very good at the game. No! Get up, you stupid dog! Okay, I'm not supposed to kill that boss, I'm supposed to stun it. That makes a lot more sense now that I'm, I'm looking at it. In fact, I I have to kill the other enemies, but... I do not have to kill the boss. Okay. Go, 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 go! Use idlers. Because I'm gonna jump off. Whistle them. Swarm them with just pink so they can t carry it across the gap. Go, go, go. Come on. You stupid. Carry it across. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yes. <sighs> no, no. No, it cost me. Ah, uh, Pikmin, please! Do what I tell you to do! Got it. I got it. That one was just a matter of knowing which Pikmin to use where. It wasn't difficult. It's just, all of these are a puzzle. That's the thing. All of these are a puzzle. They're not really tests of skill. Like, I guess Dandori, uh, planning is a skill. Dandori is a skill, but they're not a, they're not a mechanical test. They're not difficult for your hands. They're difficult for your mind, which is neat. Pikmin at its heart is a puzzle game. I think I was also only two seconds off of getting gold there, so there's there's definitely room to grow with that, even even considering I platted it. So as long as I don't blow up my entire crew, I should be fine. Uh, I need to remember which way to go. That way. Ledge. Move base. Jump on this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Go. Back at the same time, roughly. One after another. Jump on my back and join me for the Bhutan. Boom. Bang. Bop. 
Hello, Volatile Duivo. Please blow up this for me. Thank you. Yeah, this one wasn't difficult. I just made a crucial error. I think I should be able to plat this one first try. Uh, all right, so... I throw these there for redundancy. I don't think they can die from this. Switch and... Yeah, really, that feels like a no-failure scenario as long as you, you kind of hedge your bets on it. Got it. Easy. That one was legitimately very, very easy. If I hadn't had panicked, again, doing it blind is the problem. I commentated it this time. Doing it blind is the issue here. Uh, knowing how... Uh, so, actually, while we're in loading screens... Uh, I never completed all of the Pikmin 3 uh, challenge modes. I never perfected them. Uh, that isn't for... That's for lack of trying more than it is for lack of ability. Uh, I, I platinumed most of them, a lot of them, but there's like the final row that I, I never did. Uh, which, if I ever let's play the game, I'm going to have to do it, which is crazy because those are harder than these are. Easy. Easy. The hardest part is A, making sure that Ochi doesn't get uh, doesn't get crowd controlled by the the pointy nose ones, but also making sure that the purple Pikmin don't uh, don't start carrying them back. But I, I would say most importantly, it's just delaying your your purple Pikmin throws uh, so that the the game knows which group is dead and it locks onto a new one because you really don't have any control over that. It's it's gonna lock on what it's gonna lock on to. You're really fighting the you're fighting the game more than you're fighting the enemies, which is unfortunate that Pikmin 4's mechanics are often frustrating like in that way. But it wasn't that difficult. I mean, how could something a minute long be that difficult, you know? Done. Four seconds to spare. I didn't really think about how I could start the gold pile that was behind the potted plant before I took out the potted plant, and that, I mean, that's, that was the difference right there. I should have thought of that. Can I? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, settings... I was going to see if I could con I could turn off the rocket punch upgrade. Uh, you'll notice a lot of times when I'm trying to throw Pikmin, I end up doing the rocket punch instead. I get stuck in the lag of it, and the rocket punch is so bad in this game. It is dookie, dookie dumb bad. That it just makes sense for me to turn it off. It's, it's actually just a detriment. Come on. Yes. No! Okay, restart. <sighs> okay, we're gonna try something else. Yes. 
so that's dead. Switch. It's going to take care of those enemies just like before. The exception that this time I have spicy spray. Pack. Ultra spicy. Half health. Good. Oh. Good dodge. Good dodge. Jump off. The tail revealed itself early. Yeah, they ran by the, the jelly thing. Sweet. Come on. Do it. One more rep. One more rep. That's fine. That's okay. Tails revealed. Go. Yes. Loads of time to spare. That was the correct strategy. Get the spicy spray first so we can three cycle him instead of like five cycle him. And let Ochi uh, kill the, the sheer wigs or sheer grubs on, on his own. That was great. It was still the correct thing to do, just not when I chose to do it in the first place. Oh, wait, are we on to the last tra challenge? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to go use the bathroom and then let's do it. <laughs> One second to spare the first time we did. We did this. That cannot slide this time. This has to be some of the best Pikmin I've ever played in my life, and I have a couple strateg strategies I want to try. The first one is stunning the water reef. Really? Okay. That was actually really stupid. He wasn't even moving. It was just an active hitbox at all times. Whoa! That was so close! <laughs> Okay. I don't remember that before. Did that happen before? Why is there a dwarf bull bear? What? Okay. Sure. Uh, I'm not going to... Uh, well, actually, I am going to question that. I actually don't understand what happened there. I didn't see one the first, like, three times I tried this. I actually used the ice. I used the the frozen Pikmin there to make sure, to like, to act as actually a strategy. Okay, go. Oh, gee, don't go. Just stop for a second. Oh my word, are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, I took that too slow, apparently. Oh my word. Pikmin, please do what I want you to do. Okay, good. Oh, she's still going. He's a little bit behind, but he's he's coming. He's on his way. And the more more space the water wraith has to roam, the less likely Ochi is gonna get hit. Dead. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nice. I think I did it. Hurry. Go. Go. Sure, why not? Yes, we didn't even hear the warning sign that time. That went so smoothly. 
<laughs> Now's the this is the moment of truth. I perfected all of them. Platinum. It took me two hours and 22 minutes. I really didn't... It didn't take that many tries for any of them. I'd say the digging one was still the worst. Now's the moment. You've exhibited masterful Dendori skills. I never t grow tired of seeing you in action. But you must remember to keep improving. Aww. No! Is that it? <laughs> That's not how I wanted that to go down. Okay. Oh well. I mean, it, it, at the end of the day, it was just a, an inkling. It was just a theory. And I guess the theories was wrong. Okay. What are the options? Oh, just normal options. Uh, close, I guess. Your desire to master all things Dendori is clear. Hats off to you, my apprentice. I'll be here as always. You can come back for more training whenever you wish. Oh. Well, exploration results day 42. I mean, we didn't do nothing. This is something. I, I can be proud of this. But I really wanted to take him with us. I mean, regardless of his wishes as a leafling, being a leafling makes you want to stay there. It's he, he, it's basically no different than if he was under duress, saying that he, it's fine, you don't need to rescue him. Who knows who he is, but I don't think we will. Shepard, did I hear that you're a dog fanatic? I'm a dog lover too. I have a sweet little puppet home named Bulby. Really? How lovely. Dogs are the best. What kinds of kinds of Oh, wait. What kinds of stuff does Bulby like? Is that a What kinds of stuff does Bulby like? He's a dog, so anything. But he especially loves pick pick carrots. Watching him eat those is the cutest thing in the universe. Ha 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 I know exactly what you mean. Nothing makes me happier than watching a dog chow down on something they love. Or when their eyes sparkle when it's time for their walkies. Or how they snuggle up to you so nice and warm. Their loyalty. You know what we're talking about, right, Colin? Yes, of course. We'll be talking about this all night. Wow. Well, <clears throat> I guess that was <laughs> kind of pointless at the end of the day, but again, it's it's my playthrough. It's blind. I got to I got to try these things to find them out. And I'm proud of today. It it really made up for <laughs> for yesterday's uh uh struggle. <laughs> yesterday's struggle. Next time tomorrow in Pal Plays Pikmin 4 we will truly return to the final area. See y'all in the morning. <laughs>